Good morning, it's great to see you today. It's Wednesday, the 7th of September. And as you can see, we're still down in Kent and another beautiful, glorious day down here. Um, although there has been a bit of rain overnight, um, but uh, when I was looking at the garden, um, the garden, the grass was very, very brown and um, certainly needs the rain now. Anyway, just also whilst I'm here, uh, two weeks today, Karen and I, we, go, we fly off on holiday to Turkey. So we're going to be there for 10 or 11 nights. So just whilst we're there, I uh, will be going um, silent. I will be going off air. So just to let you know that, um, which probably will coincide with the end of this book, somewhere around here, this chapter, I mean. Um, so and then we'll think about where we're going to go next. Yesterday we started uh, a new subsection in, in Romans chapter 8. It said the future glory, verse 18. I'm probably going to look at verse 19, 20 and 21 here in this little bit today so it says this verse 18 says this yet what we suffer now is nothing compared to the glory he will reveal to us later 19 says this for all creation is eagerly waiting for that future day when God will reveal who his children really are against this will all creation was subjected to God's curse but with eager hope the creation looks forward to the day when it will join with God's children in glorious freedom from death and decay so all creation is eagerly waiting for that future day when God will reveal who his children really are you know it's funny we prayed, we prayed we were talking about this with when we had Brent Kelly with us this weekend he's saying he said he said he didn't like the prayer of salvation which I found was really quite fascinating he said we pray that Jesus will become Lord of our hearts and he said well actually what scripture says is actually is it is it if we remain in, if we abide in him, that actually we need to go and live in his, in his heart, in his life. Yes, when we become a Christian, Christ does live within, within us. The Holy Spirit lives within us. But we, to live the Christian life, that we are to abide in him. Either way, whatever it is, we need to be, you know, we need to be found. This is what we said, we need to be found in Christ. We are in Christ. It's through Christ that we come to faith and we are in Christ. And we have the Holy Spirit living and residing in us. If that's the case for you, then you are a child of God, that you are a son or a daughter of the Most High God. And the amazing thing, God's Holy Spirit comes and resides in you, that all authority has been given to you, all power, the old has gone, the new has come. If you are a child of God, don't say, I can't do this, or, or, or you know, because the old has gone, the new has come. You know, you are not the same person you were before you became a Christian. Because the old is gone, the new has come. You are a new creation. The blood of Christ has washed you clean. The blood of Christ has, has, has given you a brand new fresh start, has healed you, has forgiven you, has um, restored you to be, for the, to be the original version of you that God saw for you. And we are a work in progress of becoming more, more like Jesus every single day. That should be our aim. That should be our objective. Uh, God doesn't leave us as orphans, but he allows the Holy Spirit. Holy Spirit gives us the Holy Spirit to, to doesn't allow us. He gives us the Holy Spirit within us to help us to change, to be more like Jesus. And here it says even that creation itself um, is waiting for the day when God will reveal who he is. It is waiting with eager hope. It says all creation was subject to God's curse. Creation didn't choose to fall. Man, man did. Adam and Eve. They chose to fall when they when they when they yielded to temptation in that garden, in the Garden of, of Eden, and and so it's continued right down through the ages, and the whole world. But you talked about it further on. It's just about how the world is groaning, with uh, with 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 pangs because of yearning for that time when when it will be restored. Creation looks forward to the day when it says when it will join in God's with God's children in glorious freedom from death, and, dec and decay. See, this is what Jesus came. He came to, that we might be free. Free not to be to live under other people's expectations. Free not to live according to uh, what, what, what society says. Free not to live, you know, what, what is expected over us. But free to live a life that God has called us to, that God has lived us to. Um, we're educated in, and schooled in the ways, of, you know, of, of the world. But these, some of these, many of these things that we are in the, in the ways of the world are contrary to those things of God's kingdom. Because, you know, God's, the foolishness of God is wiser than man's wisdom. Uh, the weakness of God is stronger than man's strength. The things of God seem like foolishness to those who are perishing, who don't believe. But it is, it is wisdom in itself 
to trust in God. And all creation is longing for this time of this freedom. And also, obviously, you see the world, how man, how we have plundered, we have plundered it with all the resources, and 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 earth is, uh, and and we're meant to, we're meant to steward this 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 earth, but it's all groaning because of all the things that, that all the sin and death and decay that's in this. What God's going to do, He's going to restore all that. There'll be a new heaven and a new earth, and He will restore us because we'll have a new body. And we will be like him. We'll be like his glorious body. Change. We will be like him. And what amazing day that will be. And uh, for one, I'm looking forward to that. Um, but in the meantime, we need to get on to be the free, to be the people that God has called us to be. To allow more of the Holy Spirit in us and through us, living and moving and, and having his, his being in us. So that we can bring glory to God us, and usher in his kingdom into this world. Hey, listen, hope you have a great day today. Take care. God bless and see you again tomorrow. In Jesus' name. Amen.